Go ahead, sir. It's what the sir. program is about. It's about serving God. What's the God? What, 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 it's about serving God. Man. Which God you talk about? That's all we ask. Yeah. Which God are you talking about? It's about the higher power. Which right. one? Well, the program, the the, program the program of certain events. Not no made of God, no not. I no like where God. do you find his writings? But the program No, I'm asking, where do you find this God you speak of? His writings, his laws, statutes, and judgments to keep you in line so that you may serve. Where do you find those writings? The same God I repent to. Where do you find the writings? The writings of what? Of, of that God. God. That God. So that if, if you want to tell him about how good he is to you, you want to express him to me. And I need to worship him just like you do. Where do I get the writings that you believe that I may have the same writings so that I can tell him? And that I can tell him. Where are those writings at? The writings of what? what you For your God. God. For my God. That so you writings. can serve him. My writings is in this book. And what's that book called? This is the Bible. Okay, so if you're in a program... <laughs> That it teaches that you know you have to understand that they they whatever God you believe in, those some that's sitting up with a Quran, right? The some that's sitting up with a Buddhist. Do you do you agree that Quran believers are not Bible believers? What you saying? Because I read other books, don't mean I don't believe it. Yes, it does. If you read another book of another God, let me ask you this: Who is the God of the Quran? Who is the God of the Quran? Absolutely. The God of the Quran is called Allah. He's called the Moon God. Okay, now, now, the God of the Jehovah Witness is Charles Taz Russell. He founded that doctrine, and he was a 33rd degree man. That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. That book you carry in your hand now says you cannot be a part or in affiliation with any other group that serves another God. And that don't mean you can't be around them. They serve God. That's what God? God? This is Just what I'm like talking everybody about. In this room. Everybody in here should understand that this, they're worshiping the God of the Hold on, let me tell you. They're worshiping the God of the Bible. Everybody in here. Everybody in here. I'm not talking about nowhere else. I'm talking about when you come in here. Now that you say that, what you got to do is if you encounter one of them, ask them, do they serve the God? Yeah, That's all we ask. They serve the God. No, you got to ask them because they'll tell you they don't. I know they don't tell me they don't. They serve the God. Do Muslims read that but, book? But how? Do Muslims read that book? Not to I don't know about so, 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 so this is the I don't, I don't know about Muslims. So no, well, they, they connect together for a fellowship of staying clean and no, that's sure. Certain, that's certain God with, with the that spiritual is connection. So, and they serve God. So, so this is all we're saying. If you're serving God, you're serving Him to enter eternal life or the kingdom of God right. where this pain don't exist, right? Right? Right. Well, according to that book, if you got another book in your hand and you speak of another God, you cannot enter into the kingdom that you hope for if there's another book there. It can only be this from Genesis to Revelation. Talk to you don't add no other doctrine from somebody else and say they'll all meet up. What you got? Hold on. We're just going to break this down scripturally so you can read it for your I, I say it 34 and 16. What does it say? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded and his spirit it have gathered them. So all he's saying is right here. He said there's a mate to everything in the Bible. It's, it's a prophet and it'll be the law. So that it help you deal with this. The other books, the Quran, the New Christian Saints, this group, that group, they use a different Bible. All we're saying is we're not saying that you're being in there. If that program helped you and you're reading the Bible and the God of the Bible is where your help is at. All we're saying is that if you get comfortable with the person next to you saying that I choose this God over here and you have no problem with that. And you think that, that we can fellowship like this, like that, and God has no problem with it. It did wrong. Because he's not, he's not saying, I'm not, I'm not sharing my glory with any other God. No. There ain't no pick and choose when you feel like it. It's either all with this or nothing. Down here, when we talk about other gods, we talk about how they steal out of this. 
If you're stealing out of this, because the program steals out of this. Right. You have to understand the 12 step or what this says. Mm. It ain't the 12 step program. The 12 step program ain't the source. It's the resource. This is the source of telling you how to get your spirit and soul righteous. Right. Not no other book. Not this no is where they're books. taking right. it from. Right. They're taking it from the Bible, but what they are doing because they don't want to offend the Muslim that may have insurance that can pay for the class right. because you have to have some form of, of payment from somebody for the classes to continue to go. You have to understand that if you clean yourself up, the program goes away. That's you understand why they, that? That's why they keep uh, understand you understand that what I'm saying here? If you clean yourself up, no, no, there's no need program. for the you program. You you're an alcoholic. That means you're saying to them that I, I still need this program. You haven't been made. So if I be still needing this program, you still show up. If you say, I no longer am an alcoholic, I don't need this program no more, and go away, the program go away. Yeah. Once because there's no need it. for it. Does a well man go to the doctor? No. Would you just go and sit in the emergency room? Mm. For nothing. For nothing. Day next, Lucille Johnson. What's the problem? Nothing. The most high, the greater than heaven. Well, she's saying that. She's saying that. She's saying that. That's not what she's saying. I'm understanding exactly what she's saying. The only part we want you to know is what we're talking about. Repentance means to turn away from. If you say that I'm this, there's no turning away from it because you haven't turned away. Because you're saying it's still a part of me. Now, if it takes whatever method it takes for you to turn away, you have to be on the track of turning away. It has to be zero, zero in your mindset that that sin no longer brings and dwells in my body. Or I'm going to have to keep trying to get it right to the point, but I can't make excuses. For it, saying, well, once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Once a dope fiend, always a dope fiend. No way, shape, and form will you ever be that. Well, I don't believe in that. Well, I'm, I'm saying mean, that's the doctrine you know, that's taught. You know, I'm just talking of the, the day part, the fellowship part, and the nation. Understand that clearly. What I'm trying to say is, I don't believe that I am an alcoholic. But you got to say it for them. That's what he's saying. For the program, that's it for the program. But deep down in your heart, you know that it's false, but you got to do that for the government. Well, I don't, to get I don't claim alcohol. No, I'm saying, I'm not saying, we, I'm and saying this is not personal, so it, you know, we want you to understand everybody got down no, 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 something no, no, they no, do. No, I'm not taking it personally, you know, okay. like that. I'm trying to get understanding. Okay, good, okay. great. That's what we do. You understand what it's I'm trying to get understanding. Okay. Okay. Say, I repent. Uh huh. I don't mean, I don't admit that I'm an alcoholic or none of that. But I sit in the meeting for fellowship of the queen and sober people like myself. If you don't admit something that you're not, we have no problem if you sit in that class. That's all we're saying. That's what I'm saying. All we're saying is that if you believe in the God of this Bible, he can't say you can come and be half. Yeah, no half heart. No half heart. It has yeah. to be whole. If you want me to fix you of this, this ease, because that's what all alcohol, they call it a disease, right? They call cocaine a disease. But what it's called is, the most I say, if you obey my commandments, I will give you ease. Right. I'll make saying? your life easy. But look, if you do not do my commandments, there will be dis-ease or disease in your life. Because what you do is you continue to repeat the same process over and over, which is sin, which will kill the body. If you want ease, we're not, I want you to understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you choose the God of the Bible to find you that ease, you have to pray and tell the God of that Bible, yeah, I, I have that. no more shame. You know my secrets. I know my secrets. I ain't fooling you. But I cannot say to myself, I'm I am wrong. something that I ask you to forgive me for. You don't understand what I'm asking you. Okay. Explain to me. I know me. that part. You know, I, I repent, and I know about repenting, and I gave it to God. Mm -hmm. But God, I mean, let's go to us. I go to the meeting. Right. You're Buddhist. Right. What they got to do with me? They got plenty to do with you. As that's long that's as the part I understand this part, this is the part that got to do with you. If for any reason they say, you know, you're a good Christian, and you read the Bible pretty good. But have you ever thought about Buddha? Buddha has a form of yoga that will take your belief in God to another level. <laughs> now, if you bite on that, you got some problems. So you seen it? So that spiritual fornication, yeah. temptation, temptation is going to be all around in that.
But he told us the wheat was gonna grow up, the wheat was gonna grow up with the chaff. We're not saying don't sit in there, but sit in there with your mind so right. on the God of right, 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 right. their God can do for you better while you're sitting in class with him, and then you peep into them, your your strength, your faith has failed because this is the light source. Yeah. Not that source. You can't bring darkness into light. Yeah. So if they introduce you darkness to you, you have to shun that and tell them, look, if you want to be on the correct path and we're moving to what we're talking about, our spirituality, if you give them okay. Well, I understand. See, God tell us, look, if somebody comes to you with, with a gospel other than what Christ says, don't even be the gospel. Right. Right. So if somebody in that class say, Buddha be with you at the end of the day, and they talking to you about Buddha, you cannot say to them at the end of the class, God be with you after listening to their Buddha speech. Right. You can't say God be with you because right. what you're doing is you're giving them the okay that their God is relevant. Yeah. Their God ain't nothing. Now I'm not saying you're they're not denying Him, but if you give their God, you give their God relevant, relevant, relevant. You can't do it. What you got? Here's a perfect uh, scenario. Let's say you know how the women get uh, abused and they got a domestic women shelter and they have meetings and stuff and they show on tapes of what love got to do with it with Tina Turner saying yum 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 jump she chan kaboo <laughs> and this is your therapy for getting beat up by your spouse and you a Christian following this doctrine and they putting in the tape of her chanting she chanting to a different God but you a Christian and you ain't getting beat up no more you, do you accept that God? Or do you tell about the God that really saved you? If but, she came to you and said, I was once like you. My husband beat the hell out of me every day too. But since I've been on the path of Buddha, I used to be a Christian. Look at me now. But now I'm on the path of Buddha. Now you see, I have dead. Did. You know, what well, he did now. And I've been selling out concerts. I've been doing this thing. I want to lead you to something different. If you deal with somebody like that and you don't shut them down and tell them, that that's just temporary. What happened? To you? That's all we're saying. Right. Do you understand it from that I perspective? Right. That's what I was trying to get to. Well, that's good. That, you know that, that if, if you're talking of the temptation that could come. That's what I'm talking that's, about. That's a fornication. Talking about. Flirting with other guys. Right. The right. temptation that. Right. right. But but we what we want to say the flirtation that slips in there with your God is is to to say something or to practice something that they may have slipped in your ears because you're in this program and it directs the Bible for you. The Bible directs itself. Well, this is my program. Right, it directs itself. So that's always going to be a resource. To any doctrine the 12 step have, the Bible is always going to be the source. So whatever they say, you have to compare to this. Okay, they say so this say this wrong because this will always be right. That ain't going to never make this or you read readdress this or you look at this in a different light and say, well, they, they said that could have been tampered with. I have heard that before. Once you fail in your belief in this or your trust in this and you give more trust to something else, mm -hmm. then you lost the whole battle mm -hmm. with dealing with the kingdom and the God that you serve in this book. He don't share. Right. He don't give nothing to nobody else. He don't waver for you or nobody else because you did something you liked and you got in trouble with. He said, come to me and I'll heal those troubles. But if somebody brings another one to you, you have to know the difference. That's all we're saying. If you're in a program with the Buddhists, we're not saying that. We're just saying don't get an affiliation with them. Don't be at them God's feet and they say, you know, Buddha this. And you're like, well, that's that's pretty good. God bless you. You can't say God bless you. That's all we're saying. Right. According to this book, you can give nobody of another God a blessing from your God. Right. And they're serving another. Because when you say God bless you, what God are you talking about? So the God of this Bible, right? He's not going to bless a Satan or a Buddhist. It's right. like praying over pork. It ain't going to happen. I know, I know all that. And that that's all we're saying. But let's move on, y'all. And the food is wrong. And it's, and it's James. Okay, we got, we got clear understanding, sister. Clear understanding. And it's James stipulated in James chapter 2, verse 19. What did he say? Thou believest that there is one God. Right. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. The devil even know that there's a one God. So it's one. Right. It's either going to be the God of the Bible, right. Buddha, or, or whoever else. But what we're saying is, as long as you believe that while you're sitting there or anybody else, then you're in good shape. 
with the law. It's just only the fact that if you get to the point that where you accept their higher spiritual power as power equal to the God of His body. I got something to Go ahead. It's Ephesians 5 and 11. What does it say? And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Right. right. But rather reprove them. Right. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done in them in secret. Mm. Right. What was that Ephesians? Ephesians 5, verse 11 and 12. And all we speaking of, if somebody come to you and just say, you know, this guy is that guy, you have to tell them, look, I understand no disrespect. But I'm down with the God of the Bible and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, if that works for you, I understand it. But I'm dealing with this light and I don't deviate no way, shape, or form. And I mean, you can talk about some cooking recipes or, you know, what you put in your dress. But if, if you want to talk about the God of the Bible, then, then I, I can't cross that line with you. And they would understand that. You know what they'll ask you? Is, well, tell me more about your God. Right, right. So and that's where so your salvation is so going open for you to fellowship. You know what I'm saying? Or bring in that reproof and that correction. Okay. You know, once once it's open, what about your God? Now you got to represent him with that Bible. And show him what about your God. How he don't share no no uh, fame with nobody else. He's a jealous God. All the gods of the other nations are idols. Oh, Buddha, no Allah. Allah. You hear me? All, if it ain't the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 360 gods of Egypt, all of them are idols. A man sat down, chiseled them deals together, and then they bowed to it. You feel me? They made they God in their own image instead of God making, you know, God made us in his image. Right. We don't make God in ours. Right. You see what I'm saying? So Absolutely. The God, all the other gods are idols, so if anybody's involved in that worship, that's idolatry. That's right. You hear me? And that's something we read in that 1 Corinthians 6. No idolatry to get into the kingdom either. Because the Lord ain't accepting no cross worship. When Christ set his kingdom up on earth, it won't be multiple altars to multiple gods up in there. It won't be no freedom of religion. None of that. You heard me? So, and that's what we practice down here the laws, commandments, and statutes of God of the Bible and the faith of his son. That's you know right. what I'm saying? We don't we don't we don't wave or compromise somebody with another faith. See, understand this, heroin addicts go to jail to get cleaned out. They use the penitentiary system as they 12 step program. But guess what? They got to come back to the block. You're going to come back and come, guess what? It's dope in jail. See, there's nowhere to escape sin but through the most high and his only begotten son. That's all we're saying now here. There's no alternate path. The most high say it's either this way, you come up any way, any other way, you're a thief and a robber. That's right. Because there's a possibility you may be stealing souls out here. But it's, and that's all we're saying. Since we understand, we're saying no deal about where you attend. If you attend that, and that helps you get through your daily basis, but this has to be your final standing point. No matter what is measured by anything, it has to come back through here. Now, you have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. If that keeps you in the program and, and you know how to maneuver around the chaff, if you're, you're the wheat because you're, you're, you're understanding the Bible, if the chaff is all around you, you got to know how to deal with it. You got to know how not to offend to stay in the program. That's on all of our job. You can't go in there on your job and tell somebody, all you Muslims in here, listen to me at lunch break. But you're going to hell. You can't do that on nobody's job and not lose your job. But no, I'm just that's just an example. So, so in, in life matter, we don't expect for you to do that. It's personal with you. And once they ask you, then you like, look, if you want to be on true life, they may ask you, well, if you truly believe in that God, why are you in this program? I'm in this program because the Most High said, use whatever I need to do, but keep it a resource and make sure it don't violate the law of the Bible. If that helps me to be around people that, that's trying to do this, then if that helps, don't get me to the other point, as long as this is my foundation. Oh my God, my God. That's great. That's all we're talking about. You want to be like the Lord's Prayer, you know, just what they do. If you want to whatever, you can excuse yourself. They do the Lord's right. All we're saying is that if they come to you with a Buddha prayer later on, look, sister. Now, that's one thing. God, I ain't got no problem with that. But look, I need you to chant some uh, what she saying. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. And rub his knees and stuff over in the bathroom where nobody else ain't. Try this and see what good things come to you. Then that will be a problem for this Bible. That's all we're saying. That's all we're saying in a nutshell. Just down here in this class. This is, let me explain to you, and then we're going to move on. 
We believe according to the prophecies of the Bible. Right. Not what no man told us, right. not what no nothing else told us. That the prophecies of the Bible tell us that we are the lost children of Israel, carried away into captivity to serve 400 years to a nation that will use a symbol as an eagle for our disobedience to the living God. Right. That's why we're here. Right. And if this prophecy fits somebody else, then they will be the Israelite. We're not saying it's a black power. It has nothing to do with color. It has to do with prophecy. Who else went in the holes of slave ships to a nation that will use a symbol as an eagle and been done that 400 years? That falls only on one group of people. Who else on planet Earth can carry a, another man's last name? My last name is Tate. I'm off the Tate Plantation. What's your last name? My last name is Montgomery. Montgomery. You're off the Montgomery Plantation somewhere in South Carolina. So what, that's what you go back when you do your ancestry.com. It's taking you back to the plantation. Right. They're not going to take you back to Africa because nobody in Africa all these years have ever told us who we are. Right. Africans don't call themselves Africans. They say they name the nation they are from. I'm from Zimbabwe, yeah. Rhodesia, Ghana, Barack Obama. They don't call them Africans. They say he's a Kenyan. His wife, Michelle Obama, is who we are. Israel. Right. Are the children the true Jews? That's what we teach down here that we are believers in Christ from a nationhood perspective because the Bible only deals with nationhoods and not religion. You'll never find it here. And thus said the Lord to the Jehovah Witnesses. And the Lord have a question for the Baptists. And thus said the Lord toward Joseph Smith and the Mormons. No, it ain't in there. He deals with nation. If this nation don't accept the God of the Bible, you should get no rank. So that's what I'm saying. We are a nation of people of who we are, and that's what we teach, why we are the condition, and why we lead every nation in alcoholism, why we lead in diabetes, why we lead in AIDS, why we lead in HIV, why we lead in incarceration. There's a reason for that happening to us, and it's prophesied in the Bible. Once we identify the nations in the Bible, then we understand what the Bible is talking about. So every time you see Israel in the Bible, you picture people in this room. I know that. When you see Edomite, you that. picture who we call I know Caucasian. I'm teach the Gentiles, but I know I'm here for uh, Right. Uh, we don't have that. I know that. That's why I came here when I heard the Gentiles. That's why I was invited. Oh, we got a fan in here, then, y'all. Let's roll. Let's roll, y'all. Jimmy, he's not here, but he invited me. That's right, Jimmy. I'm Jimmy's Oh, yeah, you Jimmy ain't Jimmy. Jimmy. Boy, that's Jimmy. Oh, that's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. Okay. All right. All right. We good. We just had a misunderstanding on. No, I didn't misunderstand. I was trying to. We misunderstood you. We misunderstood misunderstood you. Absolutely. I was trying to get a clarification. Okay. Absolutely. I'm going to be the one set up in here, and I'm not the whole family. Absolutely, we 100% on point, but that's what we do down here. We hammer it out to both of us can say amen because you can't say amen until both parties agree. Amen means an agreement. We agree, we shake hands. This is what we'll go for. Both of us, this is the agreement that we both made. So that's what that's exactly can we, we can say amen now. Okay, amen. 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 All right, so we can move on, y'all. And we got to okay, come on. Uh, he said he called. Uh, you cool, bro? Yeah. Go ahead, spit, spit. Go ahead. I uh-huh. was talking about the books saying, like, people make the thing read out these different books, and it's cool, like, Denny Hinn and the right. woman died, what loose, and all that stuff. You can't look at the books at all. You know what I'm saying? Even though they are inspired because it's a weariness of flesh, they don't make a whole bunch of books as a derivative of the original book. That's what you're saying. You can't look at the books. Okay, and it's what Josh would do. I don't have time to read none of the kids in two books. It's, it's what like what Joshua stipulated in Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 through 16. Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And even if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, I see, we will serve the Lord. 
Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 and 15. And so on point with us, we just had a misunderstanding which has been thoroughly cleaned up. Everybody, point, everybody else, like I say, anybody got any more questions? Y'all, this is what it is. This is Bible study. Right. The only difference down here, it ain't no set pattern. We answer any question. Right. That's what our job is. We're ready to give every man an answer. NC Dunsey, go ahead. Okay, now if the government, you did something, and the government command you to go to those classes where you got to say, in the NA class, and you got to say, I'm an alcoholic. You have to say that, but deep in your heart, you know, you're just saying that to get to the class. If you got to do that, to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, but the harm, but the, but you can't harm anybody. You have to be careful on how you word that, or get out of the class. Because see, you can't lead down the door, even if it is to trick the class. You, you can't play that game either. You can't say I'm an alcoholic to do the class. You have to say, my name is Jimmy, and I used to drink a lot. I don't drink no more. There you go. You, I mean, if you don't say it, they say you can't. You got to leave because what's happening is you can't get on the same playing field with everybody else just to get ahead and stay in their course. No, you can't play games with the devil okay. because okay. he funds something. Oh, we'll do that on everything. Right. You know, okay. then that's who your feeder is. Right. That's where you get your food from because you alter your way of thinking mm -hmm. because you don't want to be put out. No, right. what I say, you may have to stand on your own and you have to stand on this. And this foundation stands on its own. You have to have your own 12 step out of this if it comes down to that. If right. You have to make a choice. Now, the reason I'm saying that because we got some Israelite groups out here now that uh, go over there and they take a lot and they say the white Jews have our doctrine. Mm -hmm. So we are converting back to what we used to be. Now, that's BS. We ain't never been the doctrine that they teach. If that was the doctrine that this Bible teaches of, there would be peace in that land. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't even have to go to them. They would recognize you. Exactly. It would be Zechariah uh, 8 chapters. Chapter where they grabbing on every man saying, we know you the Israelites. We, we taking hold of you. So I understand what you're saying. We all play the game just to a point. But you got to make sure it never throws a stumbling block at a brother or a sister who wants to get in this life. You got to always watch how you roll the dice, okay. so to speak. Can't be no stumbling block to say, well, didn't you just say in 12 steps you was you couldn't shake that loose and you you fighting it by right. well, I'm just saying that, look here. I'm just saying that to get over it. If you don't if you don't know we're gonna go back and tell the administrator, you could be out of there anyway. Mm -hmm. He said he just using this class to get a certificate. Right. Then he's going to get his driver's license. still put you out. still put you out. So you, you have to understand that when you represent this, you have to represent it as truth, whether it hurts you or not. And right. a lot of times this is going to hurt us because it's cleaning us up. So if they throw you out the class, by faith, the most high got you anyway on whatever's going to happen. You should have faith that he's going to have. Right. Exactly. If they, they throw you out of there, it don't stop there. All right. right. What violation? What does it for a man to gain the world, i.e. your driver's license, or lose your soul. That's right. So the most high is just saying that's why when you hear people saying the church, God is in the church. God ain't in the church. We know Acts 17, 24, Acts 7, 48, say don't dwell in temples made with man's hands. God ain't in there. The spirit of God can come in there, but God don't dwell there. He don't dwell in houses less than he is. It's the heavens of heavens came holy. So what we think, we put a few bricks together so we don't say that. So this is what I want to understand. If you have to be someplace to serve God, you got an issue. Because if you get locked up, you miss your program next week, it's a problem. I wouldn't have fell off the wagon, but they locked me up about that parking ticket. Right. I missed my step meet. No, this has to go with you wherever you go because right. it needs to be right here. Right. If I miss my program, I still got it right here wherever I'm at. I can get through. <laughs> Nothing is per what if the program is tomorrow? We've lost our funding. <laughs> Sorry, and there's a note on the door. What you gonna do then? And they always told you to keep coming back. What, what you, you gonna, gonna do, do then? then? Right. A lot of them already got it set up. Well, I know what I'm going to do. If you give me a dollar and you give me a dollar, they got some, they got some stag on safety. Ain't our fault. <laughs> Program closed. Let's get it, y'all. But since we understand you clearly, and if we had to know who Jimmy was, <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 Shout out to you, IT. No. <laughs> but but we, we, we call them, we always call them Hebrew vessel, Hebrew Zion, so we just didn't know it's government name. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to admit you know in a uh uh Right. You can no. just say your name, you know what? That's it. Right. Absolutely. You don't have to say anything. I don't know who's telling you that, but if you have any problems, you need my number. No, I thought you had a problem. I mean, all the judges are down. You don't have to be 